Hello everyone, Mindroot back for another video. This is the second episode of my Minecraft world um, and my series. In the last episode, we didn't do too much. We got that turtle down there um, and we got a bed, which took us basically the whole episode. But hopefully in this episode, I'll be able to get some more progress and, and hopefully get ourselves to a cool place. So normally at this point in progression in a Minecraft world, I would set up some sort of a food farm. But with all of this water around here, I can just go and kill fish whenever I need to. And that will be, um, that'll basically just be able to give me a bunch of food. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna eat this though. I think that I'm going to go and try to find some sort of little cave that I can explore in and hopefully get some iron and bring that back here. So actually, I just realized I already have some iron. Um, I got that in the last episode, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, but I'll also take this wood and I'm gonna craft up some planks as well as some sticks, um, and I think I'll craft up one pickaxe, um, like that, and then I think I'll craft up, I think I'll craft up an axe as well, because swords are kind of, um, not great at this stage in the game, especially if you don't have a great one. This iron axe does four more damage than the sword, so I'm gonna replace that there. I'm gonna take this sword and throw it in there, as well as the stone pickaxe, and let me see... I should probably craft another chest up. There we go, there's that chest, and now I can throw in all of this stuff that I don't need. Um, throw away the stone axe, that bow can actually just go out. Um, and let me see, I'll put, actually I'll cook that up. Um, and then, do I have any more coal? I do not, that is too bad. But when I go into the caves, I'm definitely gonna make sure that I bring some sticks with me so that I can craft up some torches while I'm in them. Oh, look at that, I'm so dumb. All of my coal was in the furnace, of course it is. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw the rest of the coal back in here, take this and go find a cave to explore. While I'm trying to find a cave, I'm going to talk about some new, really exciting things that are going to be coming to my channel. So I kind of touched on it in a recent video, and I said that this channel isn't going to be a Minecraft channel, it's going to be a gaming channel, so I'll have the liberty to play whatever games I want to on it, and not be- oh gosh, oh I do have one, I have a shield, nice. Um, basically, I'm going to have the liberty to play any games that I want on it, and that I think sound fun. Um, so some of those that I'm going to be playing soon are Subnautica, Stardew Valley, hopefully, um, and Ark Survival Evolved. So I'm super excited for all of that. It's definitely something new. I've never tried to do anything like that before. Um, and also the biggest thing is that I might try to incorporate a face cam. So depending on how that all works out, uh, you may be seeing my face in some of these videos. Um, because I think that'd be a really great way of being able to incorporate my personality into the videos more because I feel like they're a little bit lacking in me, um, and I feel like that would really give me a better way to express, like, me. So let me know your thoughts about that down in the comments. Um, tell me what games you want me to play. Um, obviously, I am not going to be able to play all games, especially if they cost money because I don't have very many games, uh, but I definitely like survival open world games. Uh, I think they're a lot of fun, and I'd love to make some new series on this channel. Well, this cave was an absolute dud. Uh, there's that Enderman in there, but I guess he's not there anymore. That's too bad. I was looking forward to getting an Ender Pearl, um, but that's okay. Let me see if I can find another cave. Oh, we have a swamp out here. That's kind of cool. And would you look at that? I don't have swamp colors turned on. Let me do that. And there we go. That looks a lot better. I made a big mistake. Uh, I do not have my bed on me. Oh man, I am so dead if I don't find a cave quickly or I'll just have to start mining um, into the ground because I am literally gonna die within three seconds to skeletons. Uh, I have like no armor, uh, so yeah. I am not seeing any caves, um, and as Sweden commences and lulls you into a sense of quietness, what is that? Dude, my game is tripping. I'm going to dig myself into a quick little hole and then I am going to just start mining because there's no way in heck I'm going to deal with nighttime mobs with absolutely no armor. I don't know about you all, but I had turned off my game music because uh, I had just heard it a lot. I didn't like to. When I made cuts in the video, the music would cut, and I didn't really like that. But I'm going to try to keep the music on for my games because, first of all, it makes it a lot easier editing, not having to add the music in. But also, um, 
it's just a lot better of a playing experience and I haven't played with the music on in so long that like I recognize all the songs and I know them but it it's it's such a it's such a feeling like I don't even know how to explain it just hearing all of these songs it just brings back so much nostalgia so if you guys haven't played with the music on in a while try it you'll like it trust me there's literally water all around me I can hear it but it's I can't tell where it is it's like it's coming from all directions in my headphones uh, I also heard lava for a second I am like it oh there it is and it is swamp colored water I mean that makes sense but uh, yeah that's kinda cool this is so weird though you never see a cave with water in it that looks like this oh what is this this is weird um, it looks like there's just a bunch of source blocks it's like it tried to take a bunch it's like it tried to spawn a swamp pond down in the caves that's kind of weird never seen that before some weird terrain generation going on but it's cool it's unique it gives the world a new feeling my extremely dumb self also did not bring an extra pickaxe because of course I thought I wasn't gonna need that um, so I am stuck with no wood no way to get a new pickaxe yeah I, I'm I'm screwed all right, so it's morning now, and after a close call, um, I am not dead, but I was able to kill a slime, so I got 15 slime balls. So I'm going to go back to my base and drop off all of this stuff, and then I think I'm going to go explore in a westerly direction, because um, I may be able to find some cool stuff that will be useful for this world. I just heard lava. That's interesting. Lava pit nearby is kind of cool. Um, this isn't a speed run, but I mean, if it was, that would be useful. So I'm going to head back to my base. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Bro, that literally scared me. Okay. Um, I probably should be trying to kill these instead of letting them blow up my terrain, but like, he was just chilling and not burning up. Oh wait, creepers don't burn. I'm sorry guys, I haven't played this game in a while. You're gonna have to forgive me. All right, got that stuff smelting. Um, I'm gonna craft up a new pickaxe before I forget because forgetting is one of my strengths and I just know I'm going to. So I'm also gonna, where did all my sticks go? Wait a second, I, oh yeah, I used them on the torches, that's right. New pickaxe, uh, I think I'm good on food, I'm gonna leave this stuff. I'm also going to take down the coordinates of here because I don't wanna forget where I am. And then I'm just gonna start exploring. Actually, I should probably take my bed. That's probably a really great idea. Actually, if I have enough wool, I'm gonna craft another one. Let's go. Is there an ocean this close? I mean, technically that's an ocean by my base, but like, ooh, that would be super cool. I'm still super close. Like this is literally the mountain uh, that you could see from my base. So that's how close I am. But having an ocean would be really neat. <gasps> Maybe I could find some shipwrecks. Ooh, I love that idea. Um, This is really close. Maybe there'll even be an ocean monument close. Ooh, the seed is just getting better and better. Um, Definitely not anything down there. But up here, there might be. There is one of those things. I don't remember if these have chests. They might. So I'm going to see if I can quickly go down and see if there's any chests. I do know drowned hang around here. So that's probably not good. Yeah, there's one out there. And I'm going to drown myself and turn into one of them if I'm not careful. So let me come up here and breathe. And I didn't see a chest down there, so I'm not going to explore there, but I will take this guy out for the XP. There's the jungle. We saw that in the last episode, but that is super cool. I love having it so close. And here's another turtle. Uh, we spent way too long with the turtle last episode, um, but we got one at our base, so maybe we'll eventually start breeding them and have a little turtle army. <gasps> There's a savanna out there. That's super neat. Oh my gosh. Am I going to be able to like get all of the wood types? Imagine if our nether spawn is going to be this great as well. I Let's see. I can get acacia wood, jungle wood, birch wood, dark oak, spruce, um, and oak and birch. I think I repeated a couple of those. Um, I feel like there was one other type of wood. Is there? No, I think that's the six main types in the overworld. So those are all really close to my spawn. That is amazing. I'm super happy about that. Um, and then there's just the two nether wood types. Um, oh! <gasps> No way, there's even a village? Those are actually super rare. 
the savannah ones i'm pretty sure those are like the rarest uh the rarest village don't quote me on that but that's just what i think well let me grab up some saplings anyway so that i can replant these back at my base um and then i will go explore that village there's six saplings already that's pretty awesome that didn't take me very long I keep hearing a spider too. It must just be really close under the surface though. Um, and let me see. Let me see if there's anything cool in these houses. I want to say hi to the villagers. Nice bed. Um, I'm not going to like plunder it too much unless it's something that I like actually need. So I'm pretty sure that these are all just wheat seeds, right? Which actually I wasn't going to take. Uh, but I mean, I'm going to because wheat is actually super useful in the early game. You can do like everything with it. And oh. Shouldn't have broken those. Oh, no. Wait, what are those? Wait, what are those? Melon seeds. <gasps> I forgot that those grow in villages. Why did those not drop any? Um, I'm... Uh, that's kind of cool. I thought the only place that you could get melons was um, jungles and mine sh shaft chests. But I guess not. So that's really cool. I'm happy about that. Now we have pumpkins and melons. Um, yeah, what can I say? Let's see what's in this chest. An emerald and some bread. All right, uh, I'll take the stone cutter and I'll actually take the clay as well just because clay can be kind of useful. I love building with bricks. Uh, I thought that was affected by gravity too, so that's kind of weird. But um, I like never find savannah villages, so I'm always pretty curious to see what they're like. Um, there's our first villager of the series out there. I'll have to go say hi to him. Um, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to take that blast furnace because blast furnaces aren't the cheapest thing early in the game. So being able to get one of those is super nice. Oh, and here's melons. Oh, that's right. Now I remember there's three places that you can get them. Um, yeah, I just completely forgotten that they grow here. All right, let's say hi to this guy. Let me see. Are you selling anything cool? Oh, you're kind of dumb. Uh, you're nitwit. You're nitwit too. My goodness, what's up with all of these? Um, maybe they're not nitwits. Maybe they just don't have a job. I can't really tell. Um, I never really see these kinds of uh, outfits, so who knows? I think that's about it for this village. Um, it's it's pretty big, actually. I definitely didn't explore everything in it. But I don't think there's going to be much more that I haven't already gotten from it. Uh, so I'm going to explore this desert. I wonder if I can find a desert temple. That would just be crazy good. Because um, those have such good loot in them. Maybe I'd be able to get some early game enchanted books. That would be kind of awesome. There's some bees out there. That's cool. Oh, I see a honeycomb. It's right there. Uh, too bad I don't have any silk touch. Um, that would have been nice to be able to get... Uh, I'd love to bring some bees back to my base. I'll have to do something with bees at some point in this series because I haven't actually done that much with them, but like that was the last update, so I'd love to do some more with them. And I think they're actually adding a little bit more of a use for them um, in one of the patches or in the next update. I think it's the next update, so that's going to be really cool where there's like another use for the honeycomb, I think. I think you're able to make candles with it, so that's definitely something new and exciting, and I'm looking forward to that. All right, so I think I'm going to turn back now. Um, this was kind of cool. I was able to get Savannah stuff. Um, I was able to get 17 saplings. I guess there were a lot in the chest, uh, so I can replant those. I got some cacti, so I can replant those, and some melons. Uh, that's super cool, so I can replant those as well. Um, and I learned what the western side of my map is like. Uh, so if only I had been mapping it, maybe that would have been a good idea. But um, I wasn't, so oh well. Let's head back to base and see what there is back there. Oh boy, so I finally made it back. That was pretty fun. Um, it was good to be able to explore that and see what it's like. Um, and I think what I want to do for this next part of the episode is plant some of my stuff. So I'm going to take a stack of these wheat seeds um, and I'm going to throw the rest of this stuff in here that I don't want. I'll probably, I don't need the cactus now, so I'm not going to replant it. Um, I'll throw this in here. I'll take the saplings. Do I have any more kinds of saplings? Doesn't look like it. Um, and I'll put this in there. I'll use this for now. And I'll take the pumpkins. I'm gonna turn all of these into melon seeds. And I'm gonna make a bunch of pumpkin seeds, but not nearly that many. Um, I'm gonna keep some of these as pumpkins because who knows what I'll need them for. So I'll plant these. Um, and I should probably craft up a hoe. So I will do that, uh, just like this. And I'm gonna need a bucket of water. Do I have a bucket? 
I don't. So let me craft up one of those as well, and then I'll go fill that right down here. So this sugar cane, I want to plant it somewhere. I know that. Um, I, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll plant it down here. Like, I'm not, I don't have anything built here yet. So it's not like it's going to ruin the landscape and how it looks. Um, so I'll just do this, I guess. I mean, eventually I'm probably going to put something down here. So I won't have it then. But until then, while well, it's just like not having anything in it, it's going to be okay to just have the sugar cane accessible right down here. So now I'm going to come right over here. I think I'll do the wheat farm right here. Uh, so I'll, um, I don't know how much I'll need to hoe out. I'll just do a little bit, I guess. I think I'll take it all the way back to the, to the border right here, um, where it steps up. But then I'll kind of just have it, like, fade in and out. Like that. Yeah. Um, but now I'll just start doing this. Look, we got the advancement. Pretty neat. Um, put all of this in. Oh, and we still have a lot more seeds, um, so I'm definitely going to want to uh, bring this out even more. Actually, I'll probably bring it up onto this next level uh, to get some more depth to it. Um, that'll probably make it look a lot better. So now I have all of this land hydrated as well as cropped up, and I think I want to plant these. I'm definitely not actually going to plant all of them. I thought to myself I was going to, um, but I'll probably just take it around this water source here um, and do like this and force them to like grow around that way. I think that's a good idea, and I'll move these so that this one has somewhere to grow to. Um, so there's some pumpkins. I'll do some melons over here. So let me hoe this out. I'll put those there just like that. Now I have some melons. Over here I have wheat. So I think I'll just actually leave that for now um, and let that go. Uh, but I think I'll plant these uh, just because why not? Um, may as well have the wood probably need that some point down the line um, so in a couple episodes when I have a starter base I'll have some actual resources that I can build it with so as the Sun is setting way out there I have to bid you all farewell thank you all so much for tuning into this episode let me know how you feel about the changes coming to my channel coming soon I'm active probably in a week so you may be seeing some subnautica videos soon um, maybe some arc who knows and it'll be a good time so thank you all so much for watching and until next time I will see you all later peace out